Any excavation work can bring with it the risk of serious accident or injury. All too often, where the rules aren't followed, what's seen as the simple operation of digging a hole turns to tragedy. At Badin in Pakistan, BP runs the Tangri oil field. A new well had been drilled recently at Tangri 8, and a water injection line was being installed in a trench three feet wide and up to nine feet deep. A team of contractors was brought in to backfill the trench, but heavy rain delayed the job. When the rain stopped, Mohammed Naim, the construction assistant, noticed that the water injection line in the bottom of the trench didn't line up with the pipework at the wellhead. He decided without referring to his supervisor or formally assessing the risks to move the line prior to completing the backfill. Naeem inspected the trench and decided that it looked safe. He told Mohammed Panwar and Musa Panwar to move the line by climbing into the trench and bending down to work on it. Naeem gave Mohammed and Musa some advice on working in the trench and to wear hard hats safety glasses and boots. I wasn't afraid because Naeem was supervising us. He was standing there and there was no problem. Everyone was getting on with their work. When we'd finished, we were going to come out. After all, we'd been working on this job for three months and nothing had happened. The two climbed in and began work. We were down in the trench digging out the soil with a hoe beneath the pipe. The trench had collapsed. The other workers quickly jumped in and managed to rescue Musa. I just shouted for help from my colleagues. I was calling them, but I couldn't hear them as I was partly buried in the soil. I was very frightened, but I saw an opening and I put my hand through the opening. At the time, a colleague who was standing nearby touched my hand and said, is that Musa? And I said, yes. He said, OK, we are trying to get you out. And they started digging the soil from around my face. They asked, where is Mohammed? And I said, he was behind me. But Mohammed was completely buried. It took 10 minutes to uncover his head and 15 to 20 minutes to get him out of the trench. He was taken to hospital but pronounced dead by doctors. The weight of the earth on top of him had crushed him. In the construction industry across the developing and developed world, there are many other examples where the risks have been ignored and accidents have happened. Now the golden rule lays down the steps you must take if your work involves digging a hole. If you're planning an excavation of any sort, the work cannot go ahead unless a hazard assessment of the work site is completed by a competent person. All underground hazards, such as pipelines and electric cables, have been identified, located, and isolated if necessary. Yeah, we've got this and nothing here. It's just this one. Any possible ground movement has been controlled and collapse prevented by systematically shoring, or sloping, or benching as appropriate. Ground and weather conditions must be continuously monitored for change. Do you regularly monitor the ground conditions? You mustn't start any excavation work until it's been authorized by a competent person. 
That's someone who can identify the hazards and put in place the right measures to control them. If anyone has to enter the excavation, a confined space entry permit must be issued if the entry meets the confined space definition. And conditions must be monitored during their entry to make sure they're not endangered by changes in soil stability as a result of the weather or other work that's going on. No one should have entered the trench at Tangri. It hadn't been constructed with any shoring, sloping or benching. Also, the site hadn't been re-inspected by a competent person after the heavy rain to see if it was safe to carry out the additional unplanned work. To counter this, managers have now introduced better hazard identification and work permit processes. But this was a very deep and narrow excavation. Were Mohammed and Musa worried about working in the trench? If it's unsafe, stop work. 